Hi everyone, Linda here. Okay, I've got a project today. This drawer is the bottom of a file cabinet under my, see my messy desk? <laughs> I'm gonna clean today. And um, I have my books that I put my Raisin Boat stamps in, but I changed out all my containers that I kept my uh, die cuts in into CD cases. And when I was doing that, I was thinking, Geez, the, this is really taking up a lot of space, and I could probably do it better by using, you know, these pocket liners from, um, you know, for notebooks, and I have a bunch of them left from when I taught school. So what I'm going to do is cut them in half like this and put my cards in them because I already have the cards made. That's the stamp set, and there's the stamps. And then I'm just going to line them all up in this basket, and I think I can get all my books in there. So I'm pretty excited about that. We'll see how it works out. So here's the drawer all finished. What I did is I took um, those sleep protectors and I cut them in half. And you can see this is the bottom half of it because you can see the seam there. And then all these are pages that I had in those ring binders. And then I just slid them inside the page protector and I put the stamp set on the front and then the actual stamps are on the back. And then I put them all in order like, um, well these, these with the colored ones are when I take one out, then I'll put one of these in there so I know where they are. But I'll put those over there for now. But this section's all holiday, and then these I call for fun, you know. And then over here I have letters and backgrounds. And I love those backgrounds. And then these are, these are nature. So these are all my flower ones. And, trees and cottage and things like that, fishing, lawn mowing, so those are all nature. And then this is pets and people, so there's the pets and then the people. Okay, so that's how I'm storing all my Raisin Boat stamps and I like it a lot better because now when I take one out and I put in one of these cards, I can go like that and take this out and use it and then I know where to put it back and um, use before when I had the binders like I still have this one that I made for a challenge this is my rental ones but I'd have two or three of them opened around here and some up on my desk and it was just a big mess so this way I think it's going to work a lot better with um, using these sleeves and this and it takes up a lot less room and then I have this drawer this file cabinet's really neat it's actually three drawers there's one here this one just has like my rags and cleaning stuff in it then this one has some things from swaps in it and then this one has all my raisin boats well part of it that's my other raisin boat um, packages of paper but in here I have all my like cut pieces like this one's black and brown then white and ivory green and blue you know and so in here I just have um, another page protector with the pieces that are cut up you know scraps of paper so I can grab that first one I'm making cards and then like I said this basket has my um, to buy or not to buy, you know, the ones I'm renting and to try to decide if I'm going to buy it. But I got this file cabinet and then this is another one just like it over on this side um, at St. Vinny's. They really weren't very expensive and the drawers are really, really deep. deep. Like in this one I have this great big tool bag with all my Copic markers and there's still room back here. Room on the side and then this one has all like my mixed media kind of stuff in it and then this one at the top has all my blocks in it and some rubber gloves and stuff like that so I wanted to show you one other thing that I did the walking over here and I've showed you my um, 
old library boxes before and before I had you know I think I showed you I have all my um, embossing folders up here and I made little um, little folders you know for each one of them and I embossed the front so I know when I look through it I know what it's gonna look like like that and I got this from um, Oki. Oh, I can't remember. She has a ladybug. Hmm? I can't remember what her vlog is. I got the idea for that. And then this idea I got from Creations with Christine. And these are just CD, Memorex CD holder case things. They're real thin. They're really nice. And I used to have all those hard plastic, these things these hard plastic um, CD cases in there and you know they they fit this way but this the words are on the side and you know, it, they it, the whole drawer is completely filled plus I had some in one of those magnetic books now I have just about all of them in here except some really big ones that don't fit and um, and so then I I labeled most of them that I remembered the name of them and I took a little piece of just cheap uh, Georgia Pacific cardstock and cut the squares out and then I put some magnetic tape on it to put the because I had mag magnetic tape that's what's in here I put a bunch of extra ones in here but that's what I had in these cases was magnetic tape so I just reused it and put it on here and the CD cases that I had were just old ones from my sons but see I have them you know labeled and so the front are the flowers then it's the circles anything that's a circle shape like the gears are in there for the circle shapes and ovals then um, these are some labels and the rectangles and there's some more labels but they're kind of rectangle shaped now the square shapes and then um, this one is one I have a bigger one of it a lattice another kind of lattice and then these are the banners and the ribbon edges these are the really old ones tags fancy tags too um, now these are just fancy ones you know and then I have a couple of Christmas ones and a Valentine's Day one. So those are my nest abilities or some of my die cuts and I really like having them in this drawer. I'm going to put dividers in there too so I know where they are. But these things take up so much less space than these things do. So that's... I love it. Anyway. Alright, so there's a little organizing tip for you. Thanks for watching. Oh, did I say Creations with Christina? Yeah, that's where I got the idea from there. And she does so many great organizing things. So if you haven't seen her blog or her YouTube videos, check them out. Have a great day. Bye-bye.